Kababayan, isang seryosong usapan po ang sasa inyo ngayong hapon sa ating programa. If you've been following me on Twitter, I know you know what we're going to be talking about. It's Talk Tuesday, and I tweeted about this. We're going to talk about our lolos today on the show. This isn't the first time because in the past we've been talking about them, helping them fight for justice, and finally, because of the stimulus fund uh, na pinirmahan ni President uh, Barack Obama, isa sa mga nauna niyang pinirmahan, nakasama doon ang pagbibigay ng pension in lump sum sa ating mga lolos. Those Filipino veterans who fought alongside the Americans para po makamit natin yung freedom, yung kalayaan na tinatamasa natin ngayong hapon. Pero hindi pa po tapos ang problema ng ating mga lolos. And we're going to be talking about that today on the show. Joining us is Miss Susan Fa uh, Dilks of FASG. Magandang hapon sa'yo, Miss Susan. Magandang hapon naman, Janelle. W welcome back to Kababayan LA. And a new face on Kababayan LA, nonetheless helping our Kababayans Albert Alpasan, hello and welcome to Kababai in LA from the Department of Veterans Affairs. Yes, thank you. It's, uh, I'm glad to be here. Let, let's talk about that. First, the statistics. We have a slide for you and this is not uh, very good news because we will see here behind us, you know, yung mga na receive na benefits claims na uh, an application is 39,591 and this, uh, this covers U.S. citizens and non-U.S. citizens, the veterans, That's correct? That's correct. Ang na grant out of that, uh, uh, those applications is 11,349. It's a mix of U.S. citizens and non-U.S. citizens. But this is what's um, worrying us. Number one, denied, 6,777. Why were they denied? What is the cause of being denied? Mostly, wala ang pangalan nila sa misori. And maybe Albert can expand that. Yeah. Yes, uh, Janelle, that's, yun lang yung, that's the only reason for, for, for denial para sa benefit na to. Uh, we just have to, to, be, to be reminded na since this is a VA benefit, um, the VA is bound by, by law na mag-verify through the National Personnel Records Center um, regarding uh, a veteran's uh, military status. So, kailangan meron siyang records sa uh, National Personal Records Center in St. Louis, Missouri, uh -huh. um, indicating na yes, he did serve. Right. Um, and the, the question is, this goes a long way back. Mm. During World War II ito, eh, yes. So, how accurate are these records and how on the dot were they in preserving these records? Y yun ang problem ng iba, kaya minsan na, na, na denied or incomplete, nila return back, kasi ang kung mga doc materials na mga document is incomplete. Okay. So, ano ang uh, relief na pwede sa mga veterans na deny ng claims? Now, here's, here's what I always uh, uh, advise my veterans is to, kung gusto nila, they can appeal this right away, mm -hmm. as soon as they receive uh, their, their notice of, of denial, mm -hmm. just make sure that you file a notice of disagreement within one year from the date of that letter. Okay. Sabihin nyo sa VA, you don't have to type you know, a whole letter, just say, tell them, I disagree with your decision to deny my eligibility for the FVC. And mail it right away. Mail it right away. Because this year. is a long process. You it mentioned is. earlier, usually for appeals like this, it takes about? Two years. Two years. I've seen And fast, um, you can uh, help to help them with the paperwork kasi meron kaming legal uh, You mean fast, you can help them with the paperwork? Work. But yeah. gaya na sinabi ni Albert, naku po, huwag tutulog-tulog sa pansitan mm -hmm. because you need to send this right away. Yes. Another thing that concerns us, if we look at the, um, the figures, yung pending. Mm -hmm. How many do we have pending? About 42% of those applicants. We have about 16,725 claims still pending in the system. Okay. We submit to yung mga claims na received ng VA that they're still working on, either uh, in the development stage mm -hmm. or talagang na-receive pa lang. So, um, maraming confused about, you know, how this process takes place. Yeah, maraming and how long does this process take place? When I file, mm -hmm. do I wait? How many months, weeks do I wait before I get a check? Well, it, it, it all depends. It all depends. Yun lang yung, yung uh, 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 short answer doon. Kasi they have to verify a veteran's military status first uh -huh. uh, through the NPRC, and they also have to verify a veteran's loyalty status as well. Okay. So kailangan malaman nila lahat yung, yung information yun and receive all that information before it goes to a certain adjudicator for uh, a decision to deny or grant the claim. And, you know, this is, this is what's really tough about this, uh, this story nakikipaglaban na hanggang ngayon nakikipaglaban pa rin mamamatay na lang nakikipaglaban you have a story about this Filipino veteran na 
sa harap mismo ng VA yes. building? Can yes, you, tell you know, um, I've, I've heard the story uh, numerous times na dahil nung na, na-release tong uh, uh, information that they can apply for the benefit, di nag-congregate lahat ng mga veterano to uh, the U.S. Embassy, and there's this uh, older gentleman na uh, galing sa malayo sa Metro Manila, he took a taxi going all the way to the U.S. Embassy, and unfortunately, sa harap siya ng U.S. Embassy um, uh, na matay, he passed on, and nakita nila inside the taxi, he was already dead. And, and this is not uh, an isolated case because as we will show you later, you will see these old people mm -hmm. congregating about this thing, having their meetings under the sun, mm -hmm. um, mal malayong nilalakad, yung mga veterans dito, I've heard of stories na sasakay ng bus, makikipag-meeting sa FASG. Minsan, hindi na nakababa kasi they forget kung ano yung bus stop nila. You have another story? Yeah, I have another story yung bang hindi sila makapunta na sa sa Prasji or sa veteran. So we have to go to the hospital uh -huh. para manautorize to fill up the form to so maka-apply sila. So they can sign. Sila. They're they already in the hospital yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah, in hospital bed. All so right. kailang, oh yan, ang signature nila and they're notarized with their witnesses na ganun para at least kung mamatay I mean, man sila, meron na silang meron, paper paper paperwork in their file. All right, okay. and that's another story. What if na, nakapagpasa ng application and then they pass away, what happens? Happens. Let's talk about that and more here on the show. It's Talk Tuesday. We're going to be opening our phone lines when we return to take on your questions. Don't go away. As you know, not all hot dogs are created equal. Ars sa Pinoy, mas masarap ang hot dog na ginawa the Filipino way. Ang hot dog natin, mas pula. Mas juicy, mas malaman, 